Hey everybody, welcome to this video, and um, we're going to get right into it. So, <clears throat> this is going to be a presentation about how to use one of my favorite tools, which is Google Docs, and I've been able to do a lot with Google Docs. Um, what's great about Google Docs is that you will have a link that you can share with just about anyone, anywhere. And with this link, people can either edit it or just view it. I've even set it up to domains where I use it as a web page. So basically what it is, it is a um, document that lives um, online with Google, the largest um, domain in the world and number one place people go in the world to search for things. So it's a very powerful tool. So we're going to start with um, the top left. Here is where you can actually label how to use Google Docs. We're going to label this, and um, we can just right, get right into it and start typing how to use Google Docs, okay? Um, you can do all kinds of things. If I want to make it bold, I just highlight it, make it bold like that. Um, if you want something to be on every page, um, you could just click on the top and be a header, and then it would be on every page as you move down. Um, hold on. And we're going to remove that. Um, just put it down here. Uh, under File, you can make a copy of it. You can open a new one, uh, make a copy. You can share it. You can share it with other people. You can automatically email this because this is connected to your Gmail. Um, let's see what else. Uh, you can download it into a Microsoft Word, into a PDF, into a plain text, all these different options, right? Uh, this is just to rename it. You can move it somewhere else. You can send it to a shortcut, and you can obviously uh, just put it in the trash there. Uh, let's see here. Um, you can change languages, you can set it up uh, different formats, and then this is to print, okay? Uh, here, you can just do the undo button. You'll see that just does what it says, it undo, undo uh, your last action. This is just a paste button, easier than um, probably if you want to you know, paste. This one is paste with a, without formatting, so if you copy something from somewhere else, and then you paste it onto the Google Doc. Um, if you click this paste without formatting, <clears throat> then it'll just show its original. Moving over to view, you can change the different modes. It can be editing, uh, which, which I'm doing now. Change it to viewing. If you share the link with someone after you finish it, then it's just going to allow that person to view it. You can also put in suggestions. People can make a suggestion on your document. And this is the editing format where we are now. Um, this will just show you how it's laid out on, to print, um, the outlines. Um, these are equations kind of like when you use Excel. Here you can insert an image. You can upload from your, directly from your computer. You can even search the web. Very powerful. Um, a drive of yours, photos, maybe even by URL. Uh, and then your uh, camera. This here automatically sets the table up uh, into your document. Uh, so you can set a table. You can put a different um, maps on there. This will let you draw. Uh, this will allow you to have a chart. You can use different charts. Um, uh, charting. You can do a bar graph, a pie graph, line. It's just a horizontal line. You can add emojis to it. Um, we have footnotes, drop downs. You can place the date. This thing is so powerful, you can do so many things. You can add a watermark to this, uh, break down the pages, add by page number, and uh, different links. So we're moving on to formatting. Uh, formatting, you can also see under files, but to format it, you can do different file. Um, Paragraph style, align, columns, uh, you can do bullets, 
uh, page numbers, page orientation is kind of how you can map your your uh, document. Um, we'll move over to the tools now. This can actually help you check your spelling and grammar. Uh, we'll take your word count if you have to write a certain amount of words. Um, citations. Uh, you can do linked objects. You can uh, add an object and link it to somewhere. You can even uh, translate a document. I've done this before, although um, one trick with this thing is um, if you have a if you have a copy of an original document on Google Doc, then it won't translate. So it won't translate a copy of a copy. It has to be if someone sends it to you uh, the original one. At least that was what happened to me. Voice typing, you can actually speak and it will type in a way. Type everything. Uh, these are new here. Uh, notifications, at least new as of 2022. Notification settings. So I'm not quite sure what this does, but I think this would notify you, um, let you know when people have comments. Comments for you, none. And you'll be notified when anyone adds or removes content to this document. So that's cool. Um, notifications, preferences, accessibility. And you can add extensions. And then you have here the help. Um, and you have a training, which is great. You can go to the training. Um, the document will show you. Here you can have doc sheets. Um, and this will actually, I'll put this also in the description of the video. So you can get um, even more in depth um, training. But uh, that's pretty much what it does for the top part. Um, I'll show you also some things that I like to do personally. Um, so I enjoy to um, use these for courses. Um, I like to uh, do presentations on them. Um, the reason I like this so much is because it so quickly can be edited and it goes into real time. Um, it doesn't require a lot of nothing, really. It just requires you to be able to type. And so what I like to do is I'll I'll do an outline. Um, I'll put um, the outline as so. And then if I need to um, actually highlight something or I need to um, insert, uh, insert a um, uh, link, then I can just highlight like this and I will click on it and I'll add a link. And so I can put this here. Uh, for example, if I wanted to, um, from my other things, I have here um, a, a different um, scripts for selling through um, Instagram. Um, you can just click it, and now it's there. So they'll take it to the next document. Um, you can even do um, links to YouTube or anywhere easily. You can place um, a YouTube link here. And it will go directly to the um, next YouTube link, wherever you want. So without any coding or anything, you can see how you could easily um, build out explanations very easily on this as far as courses, for myself at least. Um, you can use them to um, any projects you're working on, anything you want to share with anyone. Easily you can just um, write it all out and click. Anyhow, that's going to sum this up. I hope this video was useful to you. Let me know in the comments um, what other videos you'd like to see if you enjoyed this video. And I'll actually add that other part we talked about there. Thank you so much for watching this. God bless.